In a chilling revelation that has sparked international concern, a former Canadian chef has been identified as the seller behind a series of lethal suicide kits distributed worldwide. Reports from various sources including Liberation, Le Parisien, 20 Minutes, 24 Hours, and Journal de Montre Copyright Al, underscore the gravity of the situation, linking these kits directly to multiple deaths, notably in New Zealand. The story began with the emergence of an online market for suicide kits, sold under the guise of harmless products by the Canadian individual, whose identity remains undisclosed due to ongoing investigations. These kits, which contain substances fatal upon ingestion, were marketed and shipped globally, alarming authorities and prompting urgent legal responses. New Zealand authorities have been at the forefront of the investigation, confirming a direct link between the kits and at least four deaths within their jurisdiction. This discovery has heightened scrutiny over the availability and regulation of such products on the Internet, revealing gaps in international law enforcement and regulatory oversight. Concerns extend beyond the immediate tragic consequences to broader questions about the responsibility of online platforms and marketplaces in monitoring and preventing the sale of dangerous goods. The ease with which these kits were distributed underscores the challenges faced by law enforcement agencies worldwide in tackling illicit online activities that transcend borders. Efforts to curb the sale of suicide kits have gained momentum, with calls for stricter regulations and enhanced international cooperation. However, the complex nature of online commerce presents significant hurdles, as sellers often exploit legal loopholes and operate under pseudonyms to evade detection. The case has reignited debates on the ethical implications of such products and the role of technology companies in policing their platforms. Advocates for stricter controls argue that these incidents underscore the need for proactive measures to prevent vulnerable individuals from accessing tools that facilitate self-harm. As investigations continue and global awareness grows, authorities in affected countries are collaborating to dismantle the networks facilitating the sale of suicide kits. Legislative actions are being considered to address gaps in existing laws and prevent similar tragedies in the future. So, the disturbing revelation of a Canadian chef's clandestine sale of suicide kits has sparked a global outcry and prompted urgent actions from authorities worldwide. The tragic link to multiple deaths in New Zealand serves as a stark reminder of the challenges posed by illicit online commerce and the imperative for coordinated international responses.